Hi, I'm Andrew Wenger, and you're listening to The Peel. Welcome to another edition of The Peel. Um, Justin? I'm Josh. I'm Sean. What, okay, this is take number two. What is the deal with your laughing? <laughs> You're just a funny guy to look at. Oh, He's God. laughing at these hundreds of and, fans and, and that we have. Hundreds of hundreds of hundreds of hundreds. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Well, just so everybody knows, that's yes, Edson I know. back Calm there. Calm down, everybody. That's Edson back there. Edson back there. Now they can see you. Yeah, it will. It'll click over. <laughs> there he is. That's Edson back there. Edson says hi. Edson, producer Edson. But... Yeah, a uh, big week in case you didn't know. Yes, we lost to Vancouver, but who cares? Today is the uh, Texas Derby. Texas yes. Derby. Derby. Texas Derby. Derby. Texas Derby. Texas Derby. Derby in the U.S. We're soccer, sir. It is Texas yeah, Derby. Yeah, but you Texas know how Derby. backwards the U.S. is. Well, no comment there. <laughs> <laughs> Look who our president is. This is not a political show. I'm sorry. No. I take that back. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, we're out here at Eighth Wonder, by the way, since yes. Justin forgot to go into that. Out here at Eighth Wonder. It's if you're hurt. watching... Uh, do us a favor if you're in the area and come on out. Uh, we are giving away a pair of uh, Dynamo tickets later to SKC this weekend. And yes. uh, if you're here, you get a better chance to win those tickets. To the three yeah. people that are in the back of Eighth Wonder, we have free tickets to Houston versus SKC for this so weekend. Three? I see like eight people <laughs> over there. Yeah. And they, they actually looked this way when we were talking. I, they did. I, I don't know what Charles talking he's, about. I, he's I, a little interested. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, see, I, see a lot, I see a lot of people over here. Okay, you don't have to fake it. Let's <laughs> We're not that type of podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry. It's a good, solid intro. I like this. Yeah. No, no, that's a great intro. You Every know. intro, always. I mean, <laughs> speaking uh, intros, we are. Hold on. In case you didn't realize, Sean, who's or Josh, who said he wasn't going to be here, is here. Yes, I am here. Yes. Thanks to I, uh, I lied. Thanks to Hurricane Harvey. Yeah, thanks to Hurricane Harvey. It uh, canceled my work convention that I was supposed to go to. Um, I would be in San Antonio right now, but apparently they're underwater, like a sea or something. Not I don't yet. Know. They're going to. I don't be. know. Eventually, they're going to be underwater anyway. Yes. So, which pretty is fun, okay yeah. because. I get to do the show, and I get to watch the Dynamo tonight. So That's right. I'm pretty happy about Not that. Not only that, but yeah. you get to do it with us, and that just makes it so much better, right? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah there you <laughs> no, honestly, no. Uh, these guys did a good job. Well, wow, I was away, you know. No, I thought, yeah, y'all I, like, thought I thought the show. You can tell he's the way he's like. Yeah, it was good enough without me, you know. Yeah, it was <laughs> better it was with I. me, but it, it was, was alright without me. No, no, uh, no. You guys did a really good job last week, man. I, Thank I, you. I enjoyed it. Well, we appreciate um, it. We're yeah. glad you're back. Uh, yeah, this week, back. just for a quick rundown, this week uh, we got Vancouver versus Houston. Uh, we're going to review that match, recap that match. Uh, we got a couple yeah. of clips uh, that, that we're going to play from that match. It wasn't a bad match. There were some things to not like, but we'll talk about that in a minute. And then uh, the big thing this week, of course, is the Texas Derby tonight. Uh, and the biggest part of that, of course, is that uh, we'll be uh, bringing Eddie Robinson and Brian Ching on later uh, via phone call. Yes. Uh, which is awesome. Uh, both very much Houston Dynamo legends, uh, and we love them both very much. They uh, have two things that Dallas does not have. Cups, MLS yeah. cups. <laughs> That's true. Um, you know, uh, real yeah, quick, just real quick about Eddie, you know, because 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 every, every time I hear his voice, I hear that country accent, you know, and that Texas <laughs> accent, and I'm like, I mean, where is he from? We were on our way up here today, and I was just like, I had to Google this. Because uh, we thought he was from California. He's from Florida. No, you thought he was oh, from no, California. Oh, no, yeah, he's I from thought, Florida. Yeah, yeah. I, thought, I, I didn't know. I thought he, he had to be either from California or Texas. No, he's from Florida. <laughs> Completely on no, the other ain't. side. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, it's whatever. Uh, and then we're going to talk about uh, the SKC match on Saturday. And actually, there is quite a bit to talk about because yes. that match may end up rained out. Uh, and then we'll go over the schedule for the next week and uh, talk Houston Dash, playoff stuff, and and uh, give away those tickets, which I know is everybody's primary reason for listening in this week. And that's fine by <laughs> us. You feel yeah, free to listen. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, please. And yeah. we're going to try to make that a regular thing, just so you know. So, you know, tell your friends, hey, listen, and you get a better chance to win. Absolutely. You know, um, real fun fact, though, because we had to pick up this, uh, this big uh, speaker that you wanted to get from... Guitar Center. Are, are you mad? Not at all. Exactly. Not at all mad at all. No, that's not where I was going with this. No, we ran into Roger Clemens. <laughs> yes, I forgot yeah. to mention that. Yeah. Uh, so we're picking up this big speaker, so some people that are here can actually listen to us. Uh, we, I, 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 we're sitting at the re- or standing at the register, and I'm like, holy shit, that's Roger Clemens. And I guess because I'm half deaf at the moment. He heard me because I was speaking loud. Yeah. <laughs> he said, "What's up, guys?" Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, 
We're like, oh. we're just kind of speechless. Like, <laughs> so I, I, I didn't even think we responded to him. I think so we were you just were kinda starstruck like, is yeah, what you pretty, were? Pretty yeah, much. Losers. I mean, it's a little bit. Wins. I mean, it's the guy's a legend. Yeah. Losers. Yeah, no, it, it, no it, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah. I, I didn't recognize him without his beard at first. And then, and then I looked Dude, at him. he's a hard guy to actually like, recognize man. now yeah. that he's older. Yeah, yeah. But, you know. No, it, I mean it, it was it was awesome. You know, Justin went and got a picture with him. Which I did, was, which was cool. You know, that, that, that was awesome. You know, I should do the same thing. But it is what it is, man. So, but we are here to talk about soccer. Yes, so, soccer. Yes, we will get off the baseball talk. Sorry, about. Astro fans. Yeah. <laughs> There's quite a few of them out here. There is. <laughs> <laughs> At least they're wearing they're, orange. They're playing tonight. I mean, that kind of counts. Yeah, somewhat. But uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and do- well. Do you want to plug your tickets one more time? No, no. Yet. I'll plug it at the end of this talk. Okay. Uh, in case you were unaware. It's been like two and a half minutes, bro. I don't need to plug it again. Okay. <laughs> uh, we did end up playing Vancouver this past Saturday. Um, in Vancouver. And on Vancouver. Turf. On turf. Uh, and I wish I would have written it down, but our stats on turf are garbage. Oh, nine and one. There you go. Sean knows everything. <laughs> that's not accurate, but that's about how it feels. <laughs> no, I think it's like oh, it's like oh twelve, and we haven't won on turf. No, we've we, drawn we and not. we've lost, and that's it. Yeah, it's it, like twelve and eight, oh, we, we, twelve we and two, or some ridiculous. Potentially, stat. we 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 should have won, but mm, you know, if Boney hadn't started, we yeah, won. exactly. But, yeah, you know, we'll get into that. We'll, in we'll get into we'll, that yeah. one, but yeah. we'll get into that. Um, it was a two-one loss uh, by our boys. Uh, a little tough. Um, let me. Excuse me. Trying to bring up the score for that so we can bring up the stats. Oh. I meant to have that open. Yeah. But slacking. I'm slacking a little bit. Kyoto looked good, um, as always. Kyoto and Mara. Mara looked good. Yeah. Alex coming off the red card suspension, which we'll mm-hmm. get into that, looked good. He, he looked like he had something to prove. Memo. Memo coming off the bench. He looked, he looked fantastic. As and always. Fantastic? Uh, yeah, he looked. He, he looked reasonably decent. He looked, he looked like a <laughs> reasonably decent. Okay, all right, all right. He looked good. Is that better? There you go. I'll go. I'll I'm just a that. big Mims fan. Well, you know. Yeah, I'm. You know. <laughs> I'm proud of our uh, our Dynamo Academy product. So, uh, one of the most frustrating things about that match had to be how poor we were, and this seems to be a an away trend. How poor we were at finishing. I don't know how many chances we had at goal, in like in front of goal, and just either totally missed or, or just didn't get the chance off. And that's frustrating as a yeah. fan because you're like, just freaking shoot the ball. Yeah. Well, I mean, that kind of goes into the factor of like, you know, when we do play at home, you know, we have all these chances and we finish a few of them. You know, like a lot of the games at home could end five nothing, six nothing, fifteen. Oh yeah, but and, that's the thing, right? What's and, the and it's like, what's the difference between at home and away? Well, like, it's those clinical fi- finishes because you don't get as many of them on the road. So let me ask you a question: that we play. Do you think it's more of a mental thing, or is absolutely? It a, so if it's a yes. mental thing, I think it's a mental thing. I think it's that been a mental thing. That disturbs me yeah. so greatly because I mean, if if your players aren't mentally tough able to handle the road, then you need new players. But that's, that, that's, that's all around is. MLS, too, for the most part. No, that's, it is. Yeah. I'm wondering, yeah, that's, that's all what I'm saying. MLS, I mean, is yeah. it really a mental thing, or is that just a is that a common soccer occurrence? And I, I think part of it plays in. You're talking about the body and, and how the body clock works and everything mm-hmm. like that. You know, players, they're in a very routine-type environment, and they like that routine. You're talking about a two-hour time difference on a, on a weekend from when they would normally play to when they – and that match was at 9 o'clock at night. And we didn't – I, I can't say that we looked bad. We didn't look bad. We looked, but you we, could we see looked, the mental Yeah, the you mental can see struggle. it. The ball control was there. The creativity was there. But the finishing, just like you said, was just off. But, you know, and if that's, that's the worst thing we have to say about our team on the road, then they're doing something right. Oh, it's just, no, absolutely. It's just yeah, they have to overcome that hurdle. Right, but it's like – They have to overcome have, that hurdle We have arguably point. probably the best attack in MLS right now, and – they can't do it on the road. It's, no, not they, yet. Well, yeah, not, but not see, the yet, thing is, yeah. I think I think it's going to be a. Fl- and I said this before, it'll be a floodgate moment when they finally get yes. that that road win that is like a like powerful statement road win with three or four goals. I thought Dynam- I thought the DC game would have been that one. It was close, but it, you know, it, <laughs> it came at a bad time. <laughs> we, no, it but sucks. we did start it. We did start a streak after that. Yeah, we'll yeah. say that. Yeah. Go ahead, Justin. The, the, I mean. You know, we could put this into perspective with the rest of the road ge- road matches, but I honestly have to take this, or, you know, playing in Vancouver, uh, where else did we play that had turf? And I think that just Seattle. plays in. There was a few. Uh, Kyoto. 
Kyoto's not used to playing on turf. No, but this is probably the only time he's ever played on turf. He looked as good as he's ever looked. Yes, but there were a few shots from him. Uh, oh yeah, early on. Yeah. Yeah. Even even from Alex, who's played here or played in MLS for a while. Still there were looks like balls. there's a learning curve. Well, and there's Rico. Rico's sending balls way past players. Mm-hmm. But, you know, that that's a, it's a turf thing. It's hard to it's hard to make that switch mentally. Yeah. Wait, when no, you're R- used Rico to, wasn't in that game, though. No, I'm... The, in other, general, he, he, I'm sorry. He said previously. Okay. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it, it's it's hard to make that... Flip that switch to change the way that you... Uh, the way that you drive the ball when you're passing, the way that you drive the ball when you're crossing, the way that you drive the ball when you're... You know, trying to get it over the top, and we play a lot of over the top. Right, I'm trying to break the <laughs> mic over there. Yeah. We play a lot of balls over the top, and it, it, it's turf does not play well with that style no. of play. You so, can see it in Seattle; they play on the ground. Push the conversation along, only because we're up against the clock oh, on today's right. episode. Yeah, yeah. statistics. Um, I see stats. Well, statistics. Let me ask you about that first PK real quick. Was it actually a penalty? Because oh, absolutely, one hundred percent. Every time, all okay. the time. Yes, absolutely. There's uh, a reason VAR didn't overrule it. Yeah, because I mean, it was clear. They, I mean, he he went to VAR. He yeah. listened, you know, and they. I mean, it was there was no doubt in my mind when I saw the replay, and I saw it especially in. Especially the way they were showing so, it, there was no doubt. With that, Boniac Garcia fouled Freddie Montero, or uh, who did he foul? Um, was it Freddie? Yeah. He, I, okay. I'm no, no, it no. wasn't no. Freddie. It was, it was Reina. Yeah, it, it was Reina. Yeah, Jordi Reina. Yeah. It, it was Reina who had a, had himself a pretty decent night. He took home Team of the Week honors yeah. out of that. Yeah, um, that was, yeah. That but was a, he, yeah. he played well. He Boniac fouls him in the in the 17th minute. Freddie Montero converts the PK. Uh, you had Reina again with Freddie Montero with the assist in the 32nd minute. Um, and a, a beautiful, beautiful goal by uh, Romel Kyoto, assisted by Minotas in the uh, ball 51st from Morrow. Yeah, let's let's give some credit to Morrow for him for yeah. chipping over the center backs oh, in that, in that man. game. That was incredible. You know what? Yeah. Give give Kyoto the credit too. Oh, uh, well, finish, no doubt. Yeah, no doubt. The finish was, so was yeah, the finish was amazing. But Morrow chipping the ball over the center backs who were shredding them the entire game. That yeah. was that was the struggle they were having the, m- most of the game. Kyoto, Kyoto's only issue is that he needs to work better on what he just did for that goal, mm. cutting inside. Can I, but can I also bring up though that we could have at least drawn that free kick by Kyoto, was gorgeous. Oh, it was great. <laughs> oh man, it was a lucky save, but it was yeah, it gorgeous. Was beautiful. It was well taken. I was like, wow, I didn't expect yeah. him to be. That okay, so target. then let me ask you this: uh, tonight, uh-huh. is he is he the guy that we take? Or that takes the corners and the free kicks tonight? No. No? No. Are you kidding me? No. You know who it's going to be? Uh, Alex? Vincent San- Vincent yeah, oh, Sanchez. Yeah. Well, yeah. Which is the talking point. You you the Before we get to that, so <laughs> I, I did have something, and let's see if I can remember. Hold on. <laughs> Damn it, I don't remember what it was. Oh, he pulled at me. Ah, uh, <laughs> I was doing so good. You got three minutes. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll think of it again. God, dog it. Oh, well, we do have the clip. While you're waiting, um, there was a, you know, oh, oh, oh. Alex. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, I remembered it. So, you, you did spoke about free kicks and things like that. So, and this ties into something that we'll talk about later as well. But uh, Kubo and Rico, and obviously at least, did not travel with the team. And I felt like Ku- that match in Vancouver was actually better set up for Kubo because of the way that their center backs are. He plays more physical than Morrow does, and I feel like that would have benefited us to have that physicality against Waston. Because Kubo's the type of player that will draw those fouls, whereas Morrow's not likely to draw those fouls. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I just feel like that would have changed the game quite a bit, too. Um, do I disagree with the way that Wilmer played it? My answer to that is always going to be, in Wilmer, I will trust at this point. He's given me no reason not to trust him. But I just feel like had Kubo been there, had Kubo been the one taking those free kicks, I feel like we would have scored an additional goal, maybe even scored two additional goals, um, especially the, you know, everything, just the way that everything happened. Yeah. I feel like Kubo would have been the better. better uh, in regards to Alex, Alex coming back from a red card and played extremely well. So to clarify, it wasn't a straight yes. red. It was a double yellow. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. Which unfortunately also leaves him one yellow card away from accumulation. <laughs> uh, which so is, if he gets a yellow tonight? He gets a yellow tonight. He, well, if he starts tonight. Which we assume he will, um, but if he if he gets a yellow tonight, then he'll be on accumulation and he won't play in the SKC match. Excuse me. Yes, but here is Alex uh, at practice yesterday with uh, with his thoughts on the red card. 
Do you think the red car suspension fueled you to play harder against Vancouver? ¿Crees que la, el que te hayan suspendido cuando regresaste ahora contra Vancouver, eso hizo que te sintieras más este, preparado para jugar, con más ganas? Sí, siempre cuando regresa, regresa con más ganas. Y jugué de titular después de una roja y Vancouver no conseguimos un resultado positivo, pero jugamos bien. Y la confianza ahora contra Dallas, ahí está. Uh, anytime you come back from a red card, you always come with that... Uh, Want, uh, will of playing hard and you know I got the start unfortunately we didn't get the result but uh, you know we, we got there you know that that's the are we back yeah okay we're back <laughs> uh, that, that's the thing and I think he you know and I I had you ask him that question for a specific reason and that you know it's it's good to hear him say that because you always want a player to admit that it fuels them it fires them a little bit more fires them up a little bit more to play harder mm -hmm. Um, and you could see it. That's the best game by far that he's played in the last 20 matches. And he's had good matches. But he was on point almost the entire match. Um, and that's the least physical I've seen him. I think that might have also played a role too. Um, but it was interesting to, to watch him. And especially when Tomas, Tomas came in later in the match mm -hmm. uh, to see how Alex had to withdraw and to see the struggle that he had in withdrawing because it's not how he plays. Um, and, and, you know, it just is what it is. But it, it, it was good to see, yeah. good to hear him say no, that. Yeah, it, it's, it, it was definitely ha it was good to have Alex back in that game here, and we look forward to hopefully having him play tonight. So, um, But we do have to move on. Take yeah, we're on a time, yeah. definite time yeah. crunch. Yes. So <laughs> as we uh, get ready yeah. to head into the break, uh, just a reminder, guys, uh, we have two tickets to give away, a pair of tickets to give away to the SKC match. Um, if you are here live and, and you want to go to the SKC match, Uh, come up and say hi, and uh, we'll give you a couple entries into the into the drawing. Um, and uh, if you're listening live, feel free to send uh, Edson a YouTube chat message, uh, and he'll get your name in the drawing. Um, and uh, as always, you guys are listening on YouTube live, or you were listening uh, delayed. I missed it last week. Delayed on listening on Google Play Music, iTunes, and SoundCloud. This is Jaleel Nibaba, and you're listening to The Peel. All right. We're back. Welcome back. back. That was a very quick break. It yes. was. Yes. Uh, all right. So let's, you know, we're on a time crunch. Just what the heck are you doing, bro? We got it. Uh, uh, we were doing scores of the week. Ah, uh, scores of the week. Thank yeah, you. See, I, I remember. Like, dude, it just disappeared. All right. Scores of the week. <laughs> you should have had them loaded. I'm so sorry. I'm doing you had, a you had thousand other things. breaks to load them. <laughs> right. How dare you? Well, we, you. I, I, can, I can give you one. Uh, Dynamo one, Vancouver two. <laughs> yeah. I got that one. <laughs> I win. I win for the week. You That's do. Me. All right. What's going on here? Uh, my computer is old and slow. There oh, we go. Oh, right on. Maybe we should address that next, this week. Uh, okay. So, um, yeah. Uh, FC Dallas running. lost again. There we go. That's good. FC Dallas lost again. I know that. Ooh. Yes. Montreal. Wednesday. Uh, we had a 3 nothing win. And uh, that happened while we were live yes. on the air. And yes. both of us were very shocked by this scoreline. But Montreal, and I went back and looked at the stats, Montreal was on a tear. Mm -hmm. uh, Nacho Piatti. Uh, it's on yeah. a tear. And, and Piata? Piata. And Piati. <laughs> yeah, it's great. They have two Piates and Piati. Oh, uh, don't worry. He was texting me Patty. No, They're that was autocorrect. Pat, Patty, Patty. Go Patty. Uh, and then we have uh, Portland and New York with Portland winning 2 nothing, and that was in Portland, correct? Yes. yes. That was in Portland, mm -hmm. which doesn't surprise me on that one. Not at all. Uh, and then we had Montreal with their second match in, in, in the week, uh, winning 3-1 over RSL. And that was in Montreal. Yes. And that's not a surprise either. And then Orlando and Columbus drawing 1-1. Yep. Which was actually a surprise to me. I expected uh, Columbus to take that match. Chicago losing two straight, uh, to or er, losing to Toronto 3-1. At two, home. Two straight at and home. the exact same score lines for both matches. Yes. They're, no, they're they scored no, a goal in that one. They lost 3-0 in the first one. Yeah, three oh, nothing, okay. And then they're, they're going, their yep. back line is leaking goals. Yeah, they're struggling right now. Uh, and then we had SKC versus Dallas in my favorite match of the week with mm -hmm. SKC winning 2 nothing, And that's pretty sad when I can yes. you know, root for SKC in a match. But, you know, <laughs> hey. DC United, the two worst teams in the league. Uh, DC United and Colorado. Do that's not do not give DC any credit on that. that oh, I'm a, not giving them That was an own goal. Well, let's Let's, also, let's also make note, too, that teams typically coming out of a week after their coach has been fired typically struggle in that show. Uh, yeah, Jer yeah, Jared Watt shouldn't have played that ball back to Tim Howard. So what's the next stupid. match, Josh? I'm taking this one. Oh, uh, he's taking it. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, that's right. It's his match. Okay. Uh, it was a 2-2 draw by my other boys uh, between the Philadelphia Union and San Jose Earthquakes. That I was will such say a late goal. Yeah. 93 yeah. and yeah. a half or yeah. something and like that. And who oh, scored man. that one? 
you know, I don't remember. Wando. <laughs> it says it right Your favorite there. Favorite player. Well, hey, hey no, Justin. I didn't see that. Wando <laughs> rescues <laughs> Quakes with late PK. Did not. Uh, read so that. then we also had Josh. You want to do this one? Yeah, New York City uh, taking uh, England, New England Revolution two one. And that was in New York City. Yes. Which, by the way, side note, real quick. Uh, the twenty, th- the match on September twenty third against New York City in New York City is now actually in East Hartford, Connecticut. Yes. yes. So just so you know, many of U.S. games have been played there. Sorry, in, sorry. All the, on yeah, last so, match was sorry. It's basically a hundred miles outside of New York City, yes. and so it's not a home match for them. Which is yeah. that's what happens when you're <laughs> <you're laughs> the final. The well, not the final match, but the next match of the week was Seattle versus Minnesota, and Seattle took that one two one. Another. And I was last so second. hoping Minnesota was going to close that one <laughs> out. It was so <laughs> another close last to second draw. penalty kick, man. You know what? If they would have closed that. Out, we actually would still be in second place, but more on that yeah. later. Oh, yeah, yes. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and then the Sunday match. Yeah. Yeah, we, we did that one. That was that one. Oh, right, right. That's yeah, you were just matches. talking about that. Today's matches, yeah. <laughs> today's matches, so today's matches, there actually is one that's really important. Yes. Samoa versus Frisco. Well, yes. It's not Dallas, it's Frisco. It yeah, is Frisco. Yeah, let's get this straight here, guys. I know, I know their name is FC Dallas, but really, come on, they're Frisco. You know what was funny? MLS Soccer earlier this week tweeted out, actually it was yesterday, tweeted out uh, about the rivalry and about the game being in Dallas. And I don't remember who it was. It was some Dynamo fan, of course. But they were like, but they play in Frisco. The game's in Frisco. <laughs> it was like, that's very true. It's not in Dallas. Yes. Anyways. I also tweeted that out to, uh, what's his name? <laughs> Craig Weibel? Weeby? Craig Weeby? Why did you try to tweet it to him? Andrew Morris. Weeby. Andrew Weeby. I was no, like, Weibel dude Craig, is an Craig ex-player Weibel. that yeah, is now he's, GM of Because you were, you, were, you were on track somewhere, though. No, he was he was saying something like, oh, we're, we're, we're going to be in Dallas, or we're going to be in MLS City tonight, you know, Dallas. And I said, wait, Dallas doesn't actually have a club. You mean Frisco? Oh, they're <laughs> going to be an MLS club tonight. Well, that would be a first. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. Anyways, so, uh, you know, the, the big thing, right, of course, this week is um, the Derby. And we keep yes. talking about it's important because we have the cannon. We have El Capitan. And this is huge for us because we haven't had it for two straight years. Uh, and we won it back last year, and we want to keep it. And this match is the defining match of who keeps El Capitan or yes. who gets it next year. And if we keep it and we get it back again for next year, that's a huge deal for us. Even if we we should make the playoffs, but even if we didn't, I want El Capitan. Like that's my primary goal year in and year out. Yes, absolutely. Uh, El Capitan does bring luck. Yes. It really does. Oh, it brings all. I mean, you it can brings see it. luck. First you year we've had it. it back, and you can see the difference in the way we Dal- play at home. And well, when when uh, Dallas didn't have it, they were awful. When oh, Dallas they've been took awful. It away from, they've been awful. It's been yeah. great. Da- when Dallas took it away from us, they went great. They were great. So, and we were awful. You're, you, so you've got a point. Yeah. Before we move into the next segment, um, or into this next break, uh, I'm going to go ahead and read off the stats now, and then maybe we could push Tyler Derrick to the second part. But I just plugged it, man. I know. Oh well, we we can still we'll talk about we'll talk about we'll give Derek his his yes. moment to shine here in a yes. minute after the break. Okay, uh, he definitely needs a moment to shine. Uh, all time out of <laughs> thirty four uh, Texas derbies, uh, we have eleven wins, the thirteen losses, and ten draws, and the negative three goal difference. Ooh. But that's all time. That's including also Open Cup. Okay. Yeah, which yeah, exactly. A little bit better scenario. But it also tells you how close both these teams have been in the history of their existence. Historically speaking. And you know what? What's ridiculous about these stats, too, keep in mind, we beat them 5 nothing last year. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, which helped our goal difference, by the way, when you And see we that. needed it because if we didn't have that 5-0, we would not have won El Capitan last no. year. Exactly. So thank we you, needed. Coyle, for the one thing you did right. Uh, thank you, Matt Hedges, for slotting one home for us. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesse Gonzalez, for being a bad goalkeeper for a while. Yes. <laughs> All of these things. Uh, <laughs> and more. So, out of 29 matches, 29 matches, Thank 10 you, wins, Sean. 9 <laughs> losses, 10 draws, and an even goal difference. Oh, yeah. No, it's right even across yes. the whole board. No, it's yes. ridiculous. But, you know, okay. And the thing is, is they play so much different than we did for so long, and now we play more in their style, Yep. and now it's a very even match. But, but this is what you want out of a out of a derby. You want your teams to be as close as possible. No. Okay, wait, 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 let's wait, say, wait, okay, hold on. Let hold me clarify on. that. Right. From an outside perspective. Of course, we want them to be in the positive. But out of a derby, you want your teams to be close. It, it creates better atmosphere. Creates MLS better atmosphere. wants it that way. Yes. However, I'm going to say one thing, and this is okay. really key and really important. As a fan of either fan base, you do not want your organization restricting fans of the other fan base because no. they celebrated better than you celebrated in oh. your own stadium because oh. they were louder on TV, on national television than your own fans were. I, and you know why I can say this? Because I was at that match. Josh was at this match. And you know what? It's true. 
The truth I, hurts. I, CD. I, I wish I had a streamer hurts. to throw out right now. Uh, Couple more. Uh, did you see? By the way, did you see the diesel video? Yes. Of the streamer? Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Houston Dynamo Media Department. I love you so much for that video. Also, let me let me throw a, a few more stats out there. Uh, all time on the road in 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 Frisco. Uh, we're looking at 14 matches, three wins, five losses, six draws, and a negative two goal difference. That's on the road in wow. Frisco? Yes, on the road. That's really not that bad. No, it's not. It's not that bad. As bad as we are, well, I mean, that's just true, we, but as bad we, as we are. Can we also get some credit to, it's uh, it's uh, Wilmer Cabrera versus um, Oscar Pereira. Oscar Pereira. Oh, yeah, yeah. son. So, mm -hmm. And that in itself is a rivalry. There's a lot I mean, of tactical yeah. maneuvering exactly. going on between they, those two. These guys yes. know each other very, very well. It's fun to watch them, actually. It is incredible really, to watch because they're really, so even. Yeah. yeah, they're so evenly based. Couple couple when one makes a move, it's very yes. quick. The other one makes another one. Anyways, go ahead. A uh, couple other points because I got I got some good ones that will help in this next segment. Yeah, and we're time on. Yeah, yeah you um, got a couple good. minutes. Javier Morales has the most goals versus Houston, which well, is seven. Of course seven. he does. Second most of any player. And it's funny you are, because so. he only has two at Dallas. Well, that's because he's not as the same well, player he was years ago. But no. that's neither here nor there. But that's funny that nobody else on Dallas's team is anywhere close when I was looking at the stats. Their team is a lot younger, though. That's yeah. like saying on our team we don't have a 20-goal scorer. Well, no, we don't because not, hardly any of our attackers have played in MLS. So, well, with the exception of Kubo. But, the the key know. number here is seven, and I find it interesting because, you know, I'm a numbers guy. Rico also has seven goals against Dallas, most yep. of any current. And he also player. has the greatest kick in the history of. Yeah, his, he's got a lot of bombers right. against Dallas. No, no, the greatest kick. You know the one I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. The <laughs> greatest kick in the history of the right Car line. Carlos Ruiz. Yeah, Carlos Ruiz. Uh... <laughs> Dallas since the last time we played them, which was here. Mm -hmm. uh, seven matches, three wins, three losses, one draw. At home, four matches. Two wins, one loss, one draw. Hey, do you two of those last two, one was a 4 nothing loss mm. to Vancouver, mm. and one was a nil-nil draw to the worst team in the league, which is Colorado. The second worst team, excuse me. So do you have the stats of their last five matches? Uh, I do. What's their, uh, what's their form in their last five matches? So last six, actually. Okay, that'll work. Two, three, and one with a negative five goal difference. Two, three, and one. Mm, that's bad. It is. Two Sorry. wins, three losses, one draw. I, I looked it up before we came as well. <laughs> so did we. Yes. Um, <laughs> sure they we currently did. sit fifth in the Western we Conference. To, yeah. Fifth. So fifth. Wait, we're in third, and they're in fifth. Yes. That makes Houston two times. Well, not two times. That makes Houston at least better than them. Yes. But we are two times better than them. We are. Uh, plus, or they are nine, six, and eight. Overall. Total. total. Overall. Yeah, they've played two less matches than us, which is really interesting, considering. But you know, I continue to say I think that they get is one of those back next week. Yeah, they too. do. Yeah. Well, unless uh, ours is back actually, time. they might get two back if we don't play this one on Saturday. Yeah, that's true. But now, regardless, regardless, they're going to ha they're going to have a stretch, and they've got it right now going on. But it's going to continue going on. They're going to have stretches where they've got multiple matches and weeks for a long time coming. Yes, mm -hmm. that's why I keep saying it's going to favor us that. You know, no matter what happens in this match, I want to win, of course. Oh, no absolutely. matter what happens in this well, match, they're going to Well, we struggle. have to move on and take a break. Yes. Yes. Oh. Wait. Oh, you're not going to play your Derek clip? Uh, no, because I have text from people no. saying they're about it's to call. It's time. Also. Oh, it's okay. Time. So let's go ahead and get our break in. All right. We'll, so, again, yeah. you're listening YouTube Live or you're listening on SoundCloud, Google Play Music, and iTunes. Boom. As he takes us out. There's only one. One with a winning tradition. One with a proud history. One with a rabid fan base. One with a playoff pedigree. One with two MLS Cups. There's only one team in Texas. You know, get back uh, to, to the form they were. Um, guys, yeah. So hey, guys, I got a question. I, I got a question. I got a question real quick. You guys get to hear my opinion all the time. I do the radio. I do stuff for the Dynamo. I want to hear, knowing that AJ De La Garza and Juan David Cabezas are out to, tonight, they can't play. Chingy, what would your mm -hmm. ideal starting 11 be tonight? Well. Um, Put him on the spot, why don't you? Eddie, you yeah, took my question, probably, thanks. You know, <laughs> hey, I'll give you mine. After he goes, I'll give you mine. After right. he goes, I'll give uh, you mine. Uh, okay. I, you know, I heard that he's, he might be getting a, a, a rest, but, you know, obviously I'd like to see him in the starting lineup if, he, if he's fine and he's healthy. Uh, but, um, you know, hearing that news, then you're probably putting um, Dylan uh, left back 
uh, you get in, uh, your, your same center back pairing in Leonardo and um, <clears throat> the can, can, uh, Panamanian monster back there. Machado, uh, yeah, Machado. Uh, this, I've, I've struggled with yeah, that all year. He's, he's, <laughs> he's, he's, no, he's unbelievable. He's one of our best players. He's, a, he's, been, he's, so, been, he's, he's been, 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 so. he's the only one that's played every minute all season. So yeah. Uh, uh, Iron Man for sure, Machado, uh, and then you know on the outside that's, that's, a, that's a tough one without uh, AJ, who's kind of done done really really well there. So kind of let me let me kind of get back to that one. But then in, in the middle, obviously you would have uh, Rico. Uh, you're gonna have uh, Alex, uh, and who, who else we're gonna have in there right now? I'm shooting for Memo. Um, I'm, I'm hoping for Memo. Maybe it's Tomas Martinez, but maybe it's Memo Rodriguez. I, 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 yeah, I'm really, I'm really leaning with Eddie Robinson on, on on Memo Rodriguez getting the start. Um, I don't know about in the middle of the field with Memo. Uh, I think he's played fantastic. Mm-hmm. Well, I just haven't seen him play there much this year. You know, I think it's a good opportunity to kind of work in Tomas in, uh, into that spot. Um, you know, obviously, you want to. Uh, you probably put. I I'd still probably start Minotis up top and in, in the front, and then uh, you know put maybe give Memo a shot. Um, you know, as, as one of those outside um, attackers, uh, and then uh, Ellis. Is he, um, you know, obviously, is he is he back? Yes. Yep. Yep. He's yep. yep. Yeah. He's good. Yeah. 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 yeah I agree with you on that yeah. one. I totally agree with you on that one. Yeah. So I mean, I, yeah. I think I think that, and then, you know, your only question mark is, is kind of that outside right back right now. So, um, you know, it, it was uh, Garcia. I think. The, you know, yeah, Kevin Garcia. Looks like it, that, it's either him or probably Joel Anibaba, Right. I mean, Joel did okay. Yeah. Last year out there. What 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 about what about DMB uh, DMB starting out right back and uh, Dylan Rimmick starting left back? Well, listen for me, that's my ideal. If if you know Brian just said Marcus might be out tonight for injury or maybe a little bit strain, but my my ideal would be Rimmick left back, Marcus right back. Um, and I agree with Brian. The center backs have been outstanding this year. I agree with Brian with Ricardo and Alex. Um, I would love to see Tomas Martinez get ninety minutes. Why not? Mm. Tell him this is the game of the year. This is for all the bragging rights between our biggest rival. Introduce him to him. Throw him into the fire. Um, I would love to see Kyoto, Eli, and Minotis. Um, these guys have been on fire. I think that if the Dynamo can start that way, it's going to be awesome. But if there's no Demarcus Beasley, I think it, it, it's Kevin Garcia or um, Julio Lanibaba. We'll see. I mean, it, you know, it's almost hard to tell. With Wilmer Cabrera, the way he likes to rotate things. Yeah, I mean, that, for me, I think you know, as far as with those with those front three, I do think those guys are um, fantastic and, and not quite back to the form where where they were at the start of the season. You know, but I think on the road you might need a little bit more defensive, especially on the on the wings, especially when you know you're you're coming with a guy who hasn't been playing. Um, you know, uh, right back, back. So, say Garcia is in there, right? So, you want probably maybe somebody to help out a little bit more back there, just because you know the back line is is, is not that consistent back line that you've seen over the years. So, you kind of want, you know, and I think with Yoko Ellis and uh, Monotis up front, you, or Kubo, you're going to lose, you know, a little bit of that defensiveness on uh, on the road. So maybe you want to So maybe you want a winger. Right? So maybe you want to answer winger on that right. I have no problem with that. That's a good point. It's a great point. Uh, yeah. I don't know about Wenger. Josh, what are you <laughs> I don't. I don't know about Wenger. It's. I mean, the guys played okay. I. I, I don't. I, I. think we have better options than than Wenger to play out wide. I. I, I really do. Uh, yeah, I'm really. I'm really leaning with elite. I, I say go out full on attack in the first. In, you know, in the first like 20 minutes of the game. Go Kyoto, Mara, or Kubo. And at least on the wing, so I mean, one of those top three has it, got to work for us. Like I, I, like I said, I, I really want to see Kyoto, Morrow, and Elise up top. Hey, guys, you know what I noticed? You who you didn't mention in there was Boniac Garcia. What's up <laughs> with that, guys? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not putting you on the spot. I swear. Well, I think, think Boniac had a, a, a tough game. I think last game. You know, I think. Uh, 
You know, having said that, I, I think Boney's role, uh, you know, is, is to be a, a spark off the bench. You yep. know, the guys, yeah. uh, we all know what he brings, you know, and I think that, you know, he's, he's great uh, to be able to bring that savvy to kind of either close games off or try to help create uh, opportunities late in games if you need that. So, you know, I, I, I don't see him starting after, um, you know, kind of that performance last, last uh, against Vancouver, but... Um, you know, he's always a good option to, you know, in my opinion, to, to bring off the bench. Yeah. So, guys, it's, it's yeah, I, I agree with Brian. And listen, I mean, we look at what uh, he was asked about not having AJ Dillard and not having Juan to be and what he would do about that. And he said in a statement, uh, I'm going to paraphrase, this is fantastic. This is the opportunity for guys that may be not getting in it to prove that they deserve to be in the start of 11, to make him think. Yep. And Bodian Garcia had that opportunity last week. And we know that's not the Bodian Garcia that normally shows up. He had a bad day. Yep. But it was in a wrong it was in the wrong minute. It was in the wrong moment. It was the wrong game, the wrong time. Uh, so I expect the team on the bench, but I certainly know it's right to see start. Definitely. Oh absolutely. And you know, I mean and it just goes to show well, I mean, do you want to go ahead and ask nope. predi- predictions? We, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, first, we'll, we'll, we'll go Brian. Uh, what, what do you think is the scoreline for tonight? Your prediction. <laughs> uh, I'm usually a pessimist when it comes to uh, <laughs> uh, predictions, but uh, you know, I'm hoping we get out of there with a the draw. You know, I, I definitely think that uh, we're going to be susceptible without uh, Cabezas and De La Garza in there. So, you know, I think. Uh, Dallas being a good team, uh, you know they'll 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 get a, a goal or two on us. So, you know I also think that uh, we have uh, the amazing tactical talent, you know, and I think you know if Alex can get back into form and and Tomas steps up and uh, performs like you know we we all want him to perform, then uh, you know and, and Ellis is always a threat to, to get a goal or two or create uh, a number of good opportunities in in every game. So, you know. I, Let's, let, let's say a draw, you know, 1-1, uh, 2-2, one, one, two, two. Uh, that's, that's, I guess, what I would say. Uh, Eddie, uh, what are your Boo. predictions on the night? Boo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do you I'm really going think, Eddie? Honestly, I'm going, honestly, one, I'm, going one, I'm going to one dynamo. I, I, I may reserve uh, the option to change after I see the starting <laughs> one. Um, Which... But I'm going to I'm going to go two one Dynamo. I'm going to go two one Dynamo. I think that oh. Dallas ha- is short on confidence right now. Dynamo, Whoa. maybe not so high on confidence as they were before the Vancouver game, but they didn't play awful in the Vancouver game. They were just not by any means. Yeah, draft. they weren't bad. Yeah, they weren't great. They weren't terrible. They made two mistakes, and that cost them the game. Sure. So I I, I, I think. I'm gonna go two one. I'm gonna be optimistic, and I'm. I, but I agree with Ryan. Normally, when the Dynamo are on the road, I'm pessimistic. I just I don't see it. Um, a draw would be fantastic. I will be excited, but I'm I'm gonna go with a two one victory. So two we're one. we're gonna test yeah, y'all's. Uh, we're gonna we're, we're definitely gonna test y'all's theory here on the starting lineup. We just got the releasing, they, so Sean's gonna go ahead and give it to us. Yeah, they just released the starting oh, lineup. Now. So the eleven and and boy, <laughs> boy y'all are gonna y'all are gonna cringe. Uh, so we have the back four is Remick, Ani Baba, Machado, and Kevin Garcia. The midfield three is Alex Clark and Boney Garcia. And the three up top is Sanchez, Torres, and Elise. No Kyoto. Wow. Kyoto's on the bench. Memo's on the bench. Marlon's no, on the no bench. Either. Well, no Leonardo. Yeah, Leonardo's on the bench. And Tomas is on the bench. Man, that's an interesting wow. lineup. That's an interesting lineup. It's a very interesting lineup. Uh, it's a, a rest, resting lineup for home home game, maybe. That may not even happen. Yeah, that may not even happen. Yeah. Uh, so real quick, guys. Uh, yeah, that's how I feel about that lineup <laughs> as well. I just thought we'd share that so yeah. you guys could join in our intrigue. Uh, so real quick, Eddie, we wanted to uh, ask you about your, uh, of course, now famous burger tour. Uh, do you want to share some uh, details about where the next one's going to be and what day and what time? Yeah, this Listen, this Friday, 12.30, it's a new place called Balls Out Burger uh, in Houston, 12.30 p.m. Everyone's welcome. Come on out. Tingy, what do you think about that lineup? Oh, 
Huh? I said nope. I didn't catch the end say, of that. Say I'm, that one more time. I thought, he, I thought he was asking Brian. No, I'm I'm still. No, yeah, so Chingy. I said Chingy. What do you think yeah, about that line? <laughs> and I didn't hear Ching answer. I want to hear his thoughts. Brian, are you still with okay, us? Okay, maybe we dropped him. I yeah. think he dropped out. Oh. Uh, well, I'll give you my thoughts, Eddie. I think that lineup is Wilmer yeah, kind of tossing in the towel, to be honest with you. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm kind of disappointed. I gotta be honest. Unless there's some injuries that we don't know about, um, with Leonardo, I, I, golly, with Tomas Martinez, perfect opportunity to introduce this guy. It's, I don't know, man. Uh, well, let's listen, listen. Bonilla Garcia knows he was four. He knows he cost the Dynamo, so maybe he turns it around. Maybe. I mean, the, from the optimistic viewpoint. I mean, Wilmer. Has seen, uh, yeah. You know, Eddie Wilmer seen Wilmer's seen these guys in practice, so he, you know, he's basing this lineup, I'm sure, right. on what he's seen in practice. But at the same time, I agree with you. I mean, right. it, it just well, feels like he's not putting out the best eleven that's there for him to put out. No, not even close. I, that's been my question this year, and sometimes it, it it's backfired on him. Sometimes my criticism has backfired on me because he's like to rotate guys, and he doesn't like. You start the same lineups. Uh, it, it's it, that's. I mean, I'm I'm shocked. I'm confused. The only thing we can do now is watch. And let's let's root well, for the boys in orange. Also, I will point out that uh, FC Dallas does not even have Mario Diaz on their bench at all. Not even in the, not not in the eleven. Listen, not right. in the, not even on the yeah, bench. Yeah, I saw that today. Yeah. Oh, injury. Again. It's, it's Houston FC Dallas. It's yeah. fantastic news for us. I don't wish injury on anyone. Yeah. I hope he gets better fast. I'm glad that he's missing this game. <laughs> oh, absolutely, he's an no doubt. Unbelievable player. He is an unbelievable talent. So I'm happy that he's not playing with us or against us. Uh, I don't wish injury on anyone. I hope he's back soon. But it's uh, all we can do now is sit back and watch, guys. Yeah. Well. Uh... As always, we appreciate yes. you calling in, man. We we uh, we're still looking forward to having you on physically at some point in time. Like we have beer. Yes, we do have beer <laughs> waiting for you. I'll get there. I'll with your name I'll all over there. it. I'll get there. That that there's a specific magnetism that draws me in that direction. <laughs> 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 I'll certainly get there. Uh, tell tell Trini we appreciate it because I know you alls are uh, text buddies. Uh, I guess we just dropped his call, but uh, good job, Justin. Hey, it's not me. It's <laughs> I didn't do it. Again, thank Thank you very much for joining us, Eddie. We appreciate it. And uh, we'll uh, we'll tweet out the burger tour as well so that we can try to get you some extra people that maybe normally wouldn't come out. Well, can you guys come? Why don't you guys just show up? I I, I am going to... It's not like I'm going to tofu and broccoli. So I'm totally totally down to come on Friday. I just have to make sure that my work is okay with me leaving, and then I'll meet you out there. (laughs) All right. That's if I'm not flooded in. I live in a flood prone area in the gallery. Yeah, do you have a canoe you can come get me in, Eddie? Because uh, I'll join you in a canoe. I would be more I would I would be more than happy to come pick you up. I mean I drop my own pickup truck, I come pick you up I heard the worst of the worst of Friday. Eddie, I'll hit you up on Twitter. I I actually should be able to make this one this week. All right. All right guys. I, I appreciate it, Eddie. Thanks. We Eddie. appreciate it. Yep, definitely. All right, anytime. All right. Bye guys. Bye. 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 Now you have it, Eddie Robinson and Brian Ching. We yes. do have to go take a break before we get on to our next segment, so let's go ahead and do that, and we'll be back in just a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Don't go, don't go yet. No? No, not yet. No, so, you got to plug. Uh, again, just a reminder, we have two tickets to give away to the Houston versus SKC match this weekend on Saturday. Uh, that goes to the people sitting out there, too. Yeah, if you're listening <laughs> and you're just sitting out here eating or drinking beer, this goes to you. You have an opportunity to get two chances into this drawing, uh, all you have to do is come up and say hi to Edson over here uh, and give him your name, uh, and he'll put you for two entries into the drawing. That's two tickets to the SKC match on Saturday. Yes. Uh, Dynamo to... versus Kansas City. Yes. The Saturday. Yes. And it's a great match. You should definitely want to go to that match. Rivalry. Way better than the Astros. Oh. oh man. <laughs> There's a lot of Astros fans out there. Do you want to get beat up out I'm here? I'm going to do break. Do you want to get beat up? <laughs> All right, let's go to break. All right. Remick, <laughs> you're listening to The Peel. We're back. Uh, and, you know, actually, we were just talking about this during the break, yeah. and it kind of ties in really well with what we want to talk about. But uh, this lineup that we just talked about less than five minutes ago, 
and you kind of hit the nail on the head. It, it's it's a resting lineup where he's resting Wilmer's resting players ahead of the Kansas City match this weekend. And I mean that's that's I don't like it because we need to be playing balls out for the win in Dallas yeah, and Frisco. Absolutely. But yeah. I do understand where Wilmer's coming from that there are bigger things in the canon win at least your as far as he's games. concerned. You yeah. know, win your home games well, and you're in type of thing at this point. We really would be barring injury. We do also now have essentially three super subs off the bench. Definitely, for sure. We've really and got like maybe, four. Well, Leo, let's, so, so let's maybe see how that's the depth, his thought process. Let's see how the depth builds. You know, with, you know. Let's see how the depth is played out in this game here. I'm a little frustrated and worried, especially with Ani Baba as our center back. That's gonna. Ani Baba at center Come back on. has looked way better than Ani Baba at right back. So I'm I can okay. Agree. With, I can so agree with that. I'm but okay with, with that. With Leonardo on the bench, though. Does Leonardo really need rest as a center back? I think, okay, so here's what I think Wilmer's thinking when it comes to that, right? And it, it's pretty it's pretty intelligent. He's thinking to himself, Machado is a reasonably decent pacey guy, but Leonardo is not. FC Dallas has Barrios, and Barrios is a freaking burner, man. Yeah. He so will burn me, you, burn you, burn you. Let me throw this out there before we move to SKC. Um, Barrios and Alex are both tied for third place in assists. They will be until tonight. Yes. Uh, then also, Alex is going to take that lead. Um, uh, if Morrow scores tonight, if he ends up scoring, uh, he will tie Stuart Holden uh, with 15 goals in seventh place. Wow. For the Dynamo. Wow. Wow. Uh, if Kubo scores, he will pass Cam Weaver for ninth place. <laughs> Cam Weaver. <laughs> That's great stuff right there. There you go. Who, who wants to segue us? That's uh, a big significant name to surpass there. <laughs> Brad Davis. Segue us in the we... SKC. Oh, no. Can't. Cam Weaver. Oh, oh, oh. I was confused. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's our segue. It was a bad joke. We were in SKC. <laughs> yeah. Uh, totally a great segue. Uh, so, you know, supporting Kansas City is coming up on Saturday, barring Hurricane Harvey deciding not to totally ruin everything. Um, and I actually uh, was on Reddit earlier today. I just happened to see a post on Reddit. And uh, one of the Dynamo ticket reps or whatever, he's on rep Reddit, and he might actually be an uh, operations guy. I don't know. But he uh, he mentioned that the, the way it's going to work is uh, it's an MLS decision. It's not a team decision to make. Right. And so, and that decision can be made to delay the match up till 11 p.m. that night. So it's very possible that they could have a few thousand people down here at the stadium for three hours and still not play the match. And yeah, know, that, I will say this: if they do postpone the match and they end up rescheduling, um, it is likely that the reschedule will happen in the as a midweek match. Mm-hmm. It'll still be here, of course, but it would be a midweek, midweek match at some point. And those tickets that we're giving away, those tickets will actually still be good for the next match, for whatever yes. that rescheduled match is. So that's important for you to know that, you know, if you're sitting there thinking, but it's going to be a nasty weekend this weekend, and you don't want to do it for that reason, then you can still hold the tickets until it is. You know, we need, we need to make sure that the person who wins the tickets knows that, too. Oh, yes. we will make sure yes. you're aware. That's yes. why I'm talking with, about it now. Uh, with that yeah. being said, and the stats, or me about to get the stats, I do want every, everybody also to be safe about that. If it looks like it's going to be bad and it's bad before kickoff, it's probably going to stay bad. Oh, yeah. As much as I'd well, like a sellout. You know, keep in mind, too, Don't downtown, forget. this area of downtown is notorious for flooding as well. <laughs> so if, if, you know, if yeah. you're dealing with flooding in your area... Don't think that oh it's just my area. It's probably down. On a side well. note, was that last year? Yeah, last year the water polo game. We, we yeah. all walked yeah. barefoot uh, no. after RSL to the conservatory. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, no. I was talking about the the water polo game that Dynamo and Dallas had last oh. year. Oh, that was, in, that was in Dallas. Though. That was in Dallas. Yeah, yeah the one, the no. one where. So, but we know uh, that we know that the reps will let games go on for about five minutes. Yeah, yeah you're talking about the one that my Donna tried to kick, try, had to actually pick the ball up with his foot off the ground and dribble it using <laughs> juggling moves yes. down the field. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Uh, real quick, uh, some of the stats for to to look at. Uh, this is the first meeting. Of us in SKC of the MLS season, yes. we did lose in the U.S. Open Cup, yep. uh, two nothing at home. Does not yep. count. Um, and SKC <laughs> is going to the Open Cup final. On a side note, yes, they are uh, all time against SKC. Actually, not too bad. Twenty five matches, nine wins, five losses, eleven draw, draws, plus six goal difference at home. Thirteen matches, five wins, three losses, five draws, plus five goal difference. So not too too bad. Um, currently, SKC sits second in the, uh, in the Western Conference with a record of 10, 5, and 10. Uh, they are 2, 5, and 5 on the road. In their last six, they are 2, 1, and 3. Last six on the road, 1, 3, and 2. Fun fact, Mara Minotas has the most goals of any active Dynamo player against SKC. With Who? three? Really? Mara. Yes. How many? Three. three. He just said that three different three. times. <laughs> three. three. 
three, three times. Three, Betty three times. Hopper is the leading against the Dynamo with three. No, well, that's not. Was a currently Don Dwyer. Yeah, that's not a surprise either. Yes. No, it, that, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't ex- suspect. Um, wow. Yep. Tomorrow, hold that. Okay. They are uh, coming no, also. Awesome. Yeah, no, yeah, as tomorrow. We, as we said before, they are also coming off a 2 nothing win against Dallas. Mm. Speaking of Dallas, if you're here, we are going to be uh, having a match inside the Texas Derby match inside. Yes. So you should definitely stick around and watch that with us. Um, because SKC isn't playing a midweek match, uh, so nothing's really going to change on the stat front, uh, what are your predictions, Sean, on that one? So on it's the on SKC record. match? On the SKC match. You're not going to start me with the Dallas match since we didn't give our predictions? Oh, but yeah, we didn't give any predictions. Yeah, so, we Sean, yeah. Sean, predictions on the Dallas match. Now that he knows the lineup. You ready for this? 3 nothing Dynamo. Ooh. With this lineup, 3 nothing Dynamo. Somebody wow. check his beer. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> what, out. what beer? Oh, well, obviously, yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. No, no, I Josh. got my reasons. I got my reasons. Um, you can say you know we're going to lose. No, I, no, I'm not going to say we're going to lose. I'm not going to say we're going to draw. No, I'm going to say 2 nothing Dynamo because of Tyler Derrick. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah, Tyler Derrick. See, y'all looking at me like I'm Tyler, crazy with 3-0. Yeah, He's yeah, going 2-0. Yeah, He's yeah, no, crazy. Yeah, yeah Ty, Tyler Derrick all the way. I'm saying Kubo gets a brace. Come on, be the downer. I know you're going to do it. Yeah, he's like... I have to only because of the face value of the lineup at the moment. Go ahead, and then we're going to talk about that. Go ahead. <sighs> I have to say 2-1, if not 3-1. Only because I, I'm not a big fan of the, the defense. Oh, so Dallas, okay. Um... I'm you, not you a big fan of Boniac. Leave, leave the podcast now, Justin. Well, your, your I have time my re- I'm, I'm not a big kidding. fan of Boniac starting. No, no, I understand. And so I you, honestly think up top, why is it Morrow not starting? Because he's probably going to rest him. It doesn't he's matter. For SKC. He's probably going to bring him in later in the he's match. He's been your best. Look, here's, best here's, here's, the, thing. here's the thing. We'll bring him in later in the match. Before y'all get heated, here's the thing. When we've played with these types of lineups that are, are a lot of substitute-style players... They've come out and actually played really well. It's when we've done substitutions with a one fur or a two fur with a player that hasn't been playing well that they tend to struggle. But a match where we've in there's been a couple of instances where we've actually come out with three, four different players that we normally don't have in our starting eleven, and we ended up playing well on the road. Don't ask me what ma- what matches those were because I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. But it's been you know it's been recent. It was during the Gold Cup, and. Um, so I, I actually, you know, in, in retrospect, I'm going to give Wilmer the benefit of the doubt and say that maybe Dallas, as a result of this lineup, maybe Dallas looks at it and goes, oh, this is a cakewalk. We should come away with a win. And that sometimes is, you know, that's kind of a coach playing that tactical advantage that he knows Pareja maybe well enough to know that maybe they're going to, you know, maybe they'll tip their hand a little bit. Maybe they'll show how they're going to play. And maybe he knows that by giving we, certain guys an opportunity, I, yeah. they come out and they bust them one I, and out. I, I, mean, I, like, I, I, like, I like the way that's thinking, you know, because there's a bigger picture to just Dynamo versus Dallas. This is also Cabrera versus Pareja. I so, agree. You know, no, and, don't and, get me wrong. I like that. I yeah, agree with your thought process. But if we just look at the, the lineup at face value, I'm not a fan. But you know what? If you do that with every team in MLS on the road, you expect the same thing. But I, I honestly feel, like Josh had said before, you need to come out guns blazing in the first But who's to say minutes. they won't? You're assuming that this lineup means we, we're not going to. Don't forget, Vicente Sanchez is fast. Well, not only that, he's but still, you've got Elise on the fast. other side. Yes. And I've said it before, Elise is scoring a goal in the first five minutes of this match. Now, if he does, great. <laughs> Are we gonna put a friendly wager on? Yeah, this? let's yeah let's not forget we do have Elise in this game and no, because and, and Elise is still because you know I'm gonna be right. We he's have a, to win all wagers because Josh he, still hasn't lived up to his. Oh, what's that about the Peel Derby? Oh, oh yes, I did. I did lose the Peel Derby, but we didn't make. I any feel bet. like a tweet needs to go out I mean, for we that. We didn't make any bet though. because you haven't settled on one, huh? Because you haven't settled on one. I offered to shave, and you disagreed with it. Shave? No, yeah. your girlfriend. You shaving, yeah. you your bandsaw? girlfriend disagreed with it. You want to get into both, an argument right hey, now? Both hey, hey, girlfriends. Guys, <laughs> guys, <laughs> guys, we're at an hour and three Sorry. minutes. Sorry. Sorry. It's time yeah, to reel we gotta it back in. we got to move on. So we've got the yeah. schedule for the week coming up. We also need to give our predictions on SKC. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, SKC predict. Well, that's <laughs> if it happens. SKC yeah. predictions based on this lineup. I'm going to say Dynamo come out and win 2 nothing. I'm going to say Dynamo. They don't have Dwyer anymore, so yeah, 2 nothing. No, man, that boy, uh, what's his name, Rubio? Blessing? Uh, yeah. That guy? Rufio. No, I'm just kidding. 2-1 uh, Dynamo. 2-1 Dynamo. All right, so that's, that's two wins. All right, Justin, SKC. SKC. I think we beat them here. Um, okay. 
We went with you a know, really young lineup in the Open Cup, so it's not going to be the same same kind of deal. I said if we came away with four points out of this out of this three games in eight days, that I would be content. I still feel that way. So even if we do draw tonight and we win versus SKC, I'm okay with that. I'm gonna say, but I still feel like we win both. I'm gonna say two one. Right on. So we've got a two zero two one and a two one. Yeah. Cool. And Edson, what's your prediction? Two one. As well. Two one as well. Two one. All right. All right. All right. Your, uh, what's your prediction for tonight? After seeing the lineup, uh, I'm still gonna go uh, with uh, two one diamond. Two one diamond. Two one for back to back. Two one back to back. Perfect. The the guy that was shaking his head at us, uh, he's sure not looking. He was, are you sure he was shaking his head at us for that? Yeah, he was shaking his head about the Dallas match. Oh. If I got his name, are you? Which guy? Uh, because that guy. Okay, there's like eight guys out here. So no, 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 no. no he's turning around. <laughs> What's up with the head shaking about the Dallas match? The, the Dallas oh. match tonight. They win? Yes. 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 Oh, oh. Dallas is winning. Oh. Dallas is winning. Are you Get a out. Dallas fan? Get out. <laughs> hey, he's, he's wearing, wearing his beer Ast- privileges. He's wearing an Astros <laughs> t-shirt, but he's a Dallas fan. I'm sorry. Does not He's compute. a Rangers fan. So he's only he lost wearing, the bet. He's wearing that so he doesn't he lost get the beat bet. up. Well, what do you expect? <laughs> he's a Rangers fan. Of course he lost the bet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Back to the Dynamo because that's what really matters. <laughs> it was on the. Uh, he was saying the, well, the T-shirt was on the bottom of the pile, just like the Rangers are on the bottom of the wait pile a minute. in the AL East. Wait a minute. On a side note, oh. Dallas doesn't don't bring actually none if you don't got none, son. Hold on. <laughs> Dallas doesn't actually have an MLS team. That's true. Frisco <laughs> does. That's right. It's not in Dallas. <laughs> hey, wait. You know what Dallas also doesn't have? They don't have an MLB team because they're in Arlington. <laughs> All right. Or, we're moving on. We're moving on. We're, we're moving on. We got. We got right. Yeah, we're on. One last crash. one. All right, we actually really appreciate you being here, just so you know. <laughs> How many stars are above FC we Dallas' are moving, crest? He doesn't know. He doesn't follow soccer. <laughs> We're moving on. We're moving on. All right, what, what's our next? Oh, one, schedule one, for one. the week. No, that's not true. <laughs> Let's move on. Anyway, uh, so Columbus is taking on LA Galaxy. Yes, that match kicks off it. We need to hurry now. through this, by the way. Yes. Uh, good. Oh, DC versus Atlanta. Uh, that's also 6.30. And, of course, oh. the match tonight. Yeah, keep going. Uh, Toronto taking on my boys. Uh, the Union, they're going to get destroyed. Oh, dude, Toronto. <laughs> well, you know what? I, the last time I said Philadelphia was going to get destroyed, you know what they did? They came out and won 4 nothing against Dallas. So Yes, but they were hosting yeah, yeah. Dallas. This is in Toronto. I'm going to say Philly beats Toronto in that match in a surprise. You're, you're that's still my on upset drugs. of the week. You're Mark still on drugs. I'm like not that. on drugs, man. I'm telling you. I like that upset. No, I'm going to say my uh, my upset. Well, not this one. Uh, <laughs> San Jose yeah, versus, no, yeah, RSL. RSL. Jose versus yeah, RSL. Yeah, go ahead yes. and say that one. Uh, good. Yeah, uh, my, my upset Seattle is going to be versus, okay. Vancouver. Seattle actually goes into Vancouver and beats Vancouver. Ooh. Oh, I agree. That's not an upset to me. No, Anyways, we got the, an upset to Vancouver at home. I mean, this would this would be a bigger upset. Colorado going into Portland and beating Portland in Colorado. Yes. I mean, Friday night, we've got another New York derby. Uh, yeah, back to back almost. New York Red Bulls taking on the or hosting NYCFC. That so I'm gonna to I'm gonna tell you right now, Red Bulls are gonna win that like four one <sighs> because they have something to prove after last time. I agree. Uh, so then we got DC versus New England on Saturday. I think New England in DC. I'm, I'm gonna take this one. Well, of course you are. It's gonna be another Philly tough boy. one. Yeah, yeah. I think Atlanta goes into Philly and destroys them. I actually I agree, agree with you. With Philly at home is terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. And then Columbus City, uh, or Columbus City. Columbus Col- City? Colum- yeah, that, 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 that place, Columbus City. Columbus Crew is going to play host of FC Dallas. They're going to actually, Dallas is going to take on a second uh, loss after that Back-to-back game. losses. Yeah, back-to-back yep. losses. Uh, then we got Vancouver at Orlando, uh, and uh, I have no idea how that match is going to go, to be honest. I think Orlando kind of turned some of their recent struggles around. I disagree it. with you because they're losing Will Johnson for two to four well, weeks, and that's a huge I part I will of also play. say yeah, Vancouver has to travel cross-country after playing a match. They're going to be tired. Philly. That's Never. not that far from Philly no, to Orlando. No. Vancouver, no. Toronto is playing Philly. Okay, Vancouver. W- Vancouver was playing somewhere else. Uh, Vancouver was hosting Seattle. Yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah so they got to fly cross Damn, country. Damn, MLS. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I know, yeah. That's why I'm saying uh, Orlando. So, no, I'm right, moving on. Orlando, uh, Dom Dwyer scores his first goal. I can see that. Yeah. Chicago hosting Minnesota United. Chicago's been Easy. odd last couple Easy. weeks. Man, that, that Chicago now, see, that guy, last five is terrible. That guy wearing the Philly shirt, he knows. <laughs> he wasn't listening. <laughs> he was. He looked at. He looked at him. He saw. He saw him. He gave him a nod. Yeah, uh, then of course we got the Dynamo SKC match with us hosting SKC. 
<laughs> oh, there's the background story on that one. Oh, nice. Anyway, nice. Uh, then RSL will be hosting Colorado. I'm intrigued on that, actually. That's I'm intrigued in that match. Colorado's going to lose again. Continue. Well, yes, but I'm also intrigued because I have a lot of RSL players in my fantasy league this week. Kyle Beckerman will score the game-winning goal. Oh, don't tell Megan that. She's listening. Of course she knows that. Uh, Toronto will be traveling to Montreal. Uh, I think that's also a good match. It is. Say it Montreal will be a great match. Oh, well, Montreal's on a tear right yeah, now. I wouldn't Piatti. surprise me. Piatti. And Piata? Piatti. LA Galaxy hosting San Jose Earthquakes. Uh, and LA's then, losing this at home, yeah. so LA's and then, losing. And then to top off this week's uh, round is going to be the Cascadia Cascadia Cup. It's going to be Seattle Sounders versus yes. LA Tevers. And yes, that's going to be a good one. A, of course, there's the friendly match coming up, too. U.S. Yep. men, U.S. No. versus Costa Rica. That's a qualifier, sir. Ooh. Oh, that's, that's right. That's World a qualifier. qualifier. <laughs> that's, a, that's a little bit better, a little bigger than the friendly. We will talk about that. I wonder that how that's going to yeah. actually, you know, I wonder how that's going to affect games. So. Oh, it's going to affect games. Uh, it's going to be well, interesting I, to watch. We we'll talk about that break. next week. Yes. We'll talk, okay, so going into the break, remember, if you're here, come talk to Edson so you have a chance to win uh, two SKC tickets for this weekend, Houston versus SKC. Uh, and if you're online, make sure to shoot him a YouTube message, and he'll add you to the drawing. Um, yeah. And uh, otherwise, you're listening to us on YouTube Live, or you're listening to us uh, on delay on SoundCloud, Google Play Music, and iTunes. Yep. What's up, y'all? I'm Demarcus Beasley, and you're listening to The Peel. We're back. All we're back, back and live. Yes, we are back and live. Yes, we are. Uh, so we need to roll right into yeah. our next segment. Which, Se- only uh, 17 minutes away until kickoff. Yep, that's what I'm saying. We have to roll. Yeah, we have, <laughs> we to, have to get into this. So it's going to be, uh, we'll, let's go ahead and give give the Dash a, a quick little, you know, yes. let's, let's give them their, their moment. Um, uh, you know, Carly Lloyd is out. Yes. Um, and now Rachel Daly is suspended in a absolutely atrocious red card call that the referee should be fired for huh. two weeks in a row, no less. Um, and, you know, they're, they're going to be playing with without six of their starters, and that and, and they don't have a deep bench. Um, no. They literally, I think, have 18 players. So you're without six. I mean, that leaves you, like, you know, two subs on your bench. So somebody's going to have to play. You know, lots of people are going to have to play yes. 90. So that, that's rough. But um, they lost against... Two nothing to Portland. Portland, thank you. Um, against Portland, and and you know it was a match. I wouldn't say it was a great match. It was a match. They they played like they should have gotten a goal, but that red card now, just that was terrible. Their their playoff hopes are still somewhat alive. Um, we got about five minutes before we got to close this. So out. let me ask you a quick question before we close this out, uh, and this is going to talk about the dash. Um, you know, the real key here is, do you think that Omar, whatever his, Gon- Gonzalez, is that his name? Omar? I don't know. Whoever their coach is, interim wow. coach. Do you think he's earned the head coach role for next season? They did play better once they hired him. Ha- that's not my question. Has he earned the head coach role for next season? There are other coaches out there right now that I See, would pick over him for sure. I, I mean, in that case, then, yes. I don't know too much about the background of the other coaches that are out there. Well, that's, that's just a shame. You need to research more. <laughs> just kidding. Well, shame quick, on you. Uh, they are only six points behind only. Uh, the fourth fourth and final playoff spot. Six games to go. Uh, which is against Orlando. Or which, not against Orlando, excuse me. Orlando hold that last spot. Um, but they do end up playing the first place North Carolina Courage Sunday, 7 o'clock. Going to be a slaughter. It North is. Carolina is going to destroy them. AKA also known as the Western New York Flash, who won the championship last year. And by the way, still look like they are going to win it again this year. They look great. Ooh. Man. I hate that guy. Everyone does. I'm down here for work, and I just so happy to come out. Well, you're a Phillies fan. I'm from Philadelphia. Oh, they're so going to be talking. Oh, oh, no. All right, so anyways, Josh, let's, let's continue. Event. You guys can talk. You, yeah. you can talk with your buddy. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. So yeah, uh, we, we were this. talking about Houston Dash. So, you know, now we've got to give away the tickets. Oh, so we'll go ahead and give away the tickets. Hey, Edson, can you flip that towards me one more time? Edson. I was okay with it. I see that screen. we got to give away the tickets. Oh, oh. It pains me being surrounded by somebody. Yeah, he's going to be talking to him the rest of the show. Yeah, pretty much. We, we, just, we, lost, we just lost yeah. Justin. But yeah, we lost Justin, our, uh, our board runner here. All right, so uh, I need Tyler Williamson, who I know is here. I need Tyler Williamson to come say hi. Oh, uh, there he talk is. To yep. real quick. He's going to get your contact info. Yes. Uh, those tickets, just so you know, uh, I'll tell you about it after. Yes. So. Uh, and then also we have, our, you know, we want to talk about our closing thoughts for the for the night. Um, you know, we've talked about a lot of things tonight, but 
you know, really the most important thing for tonight, and, and it really is what tonight is all about, Texas, which is the Texas Derby. Yeah, the Texas course, Derby. Yeah, the, El, the battle El Capitan. El Capitan. El Capitan. Yeah, yeah, let's bring it in, yeah. And, uh, you know, before we cut, uh, I, well, he doesn't have it let's, queued up. Well, let's break down, real fast, let's, let's break down stipulations real fast of how we keep El Capitan. So well, if we, Eddie we was draw. wrong. Eddie was wrong. If we draw, we do not necessarily keep El Capitan. It has to be goal it, difference. But it has to. It goes to, it no. goes to something else. I don't remember it goes what it is. To pl- it goes to playoffs. Playoffs no. will be the tiebreaker. I believe you're right. Yes. Yeah. If there are playoffs. But if there is not a playoff, then we keep El Capitan by default. On draws. Yes. Yes. Uh, that, yes. Yes. That, no, that's correct. Yes. Yeah. We will, we will keep El Capitan on draws. So. All right. We got uh, two minutes. Two minutes before well, that's we close we, this out. We were closing out already. Yes. Sorry, you were distracted by your Philly friend. No, I know. But I was, I was saying, though, if, if they do draw and they don't meet in playoffs, we keep El Capitan. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying, yes. if they don't meet in the playoffs, which at this rate, it doesn't look like Dallas may even make the playoffs, which, Ooh, you know, okay. it's, it's tight. Okay. Okay. But did I not say in the beginning of the year? That that last playoff spot is going to be determined do by not going on a losing streak oh, no, right now. Crazy. Yeah. Do this, not going on a losing streak right now. This playoff run for every team is going to be crazy because no team is out of it yet. Nope. Yep. And there is not except really. Colorado. <laughs> no, they're not out. Well, statistically, yeah, they statistically, still have a win. No. Mathematically, no. They gave up, but that doesn't Morally. mean they're if, they, <laughs> if they string together a couple wins, they're looking back into it. RSL, for example. Yep. Yes. So, uh, so anyway, so, so now that we've talked about this week, let's talk about next week. Uh, next week we're going to talk about playoffs. I know we said we were going to talk about it this week, but this show ended up really packed, as you can tell. Yes. Um, so next week we're going to talk about playoffs and what it's going to take to get into playoffs and some thoughts about playoffs. Uh, we're going to discuss specifically my favorite topic, which is why it's actually better for the Dynamo to finish third or fourth in the in the uh, West than it is to finish first or second. Uh, and so we'll discuss that next week, and I know you guys have some thoughts on that, but we'll discuss that next week. We appreciate you tuning in. And also that video that was played earlier, correct? And the videos. Oh, that thank you, because I would have forgot. Uh, we want to give a shout-out to the Houston Dynamo for letting us play that video, uh, yes. that promo video from, that was like 2013. Yeah, it was uh, old. But it, it, it's legit. It's awesome. Anytime we can talk about how much mm-hmm. better we are than Frisco, which, by the way, is two times better than Dallas and Frisco, <laughs> yes. um, is always great. So All we right. appreciate them letting us use that video. And Let me plug us here. Yep. All right, guys. Thank you again for tuning in to another episode of The Peel. You guys can find us on Twitter. Uh, follow us on Twitter at The Peel 05. Uh, you guys can like our Facebook page, The Peel 2005. You guys can go to our website, thepeellive.com. Sorry, we got a lot of new stuff here. Uh, also, like our friends, Dynamo Theory. Visit them at Dynamo Theory on Twitter. Like them on Facebook and visit the visit website, dynamotheory.com. Where you uh, find and us. Ma- make sure, uh, make sure, and I forgot to say this and Julio's going to kill me, but make sure that if you haven't renewed your season tickets yet for next year, make sure you contact your season ticket rep and renew your season tickets. October 9th, I think, is deadline. Got to go, guys. It is deadline to confirm it. So, yeah, right, anyways, yes. but I just wanted to throw that out there. We appreciate it. Thank you. See y'all later. Forever for Orange. Forever Orange, guys. Forever oh, Orange. We're all empty. Yeah. 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 Oh, well. Long show. <laughs> Very long show.